There's a community who stands side by side, back to back, on top, everywhere there is, and we're going to say they're out. We've had enough of it. Fantastic march today, and they, they know how serious we are, and we're going to keep on. Next to the crowd, who we got coming in? Right. Here we go. This all, remember everybody, would not have been possible without each and every single resident of Haringey on all the affected estates, homes, and in different places yeah. spread out through this borough. It's all thanks to you, working really hard to make this a success, to stop it, Sorry. and stop it for good, even for the next leader that comes into Haringey Civic Centre. Next up, we've got Gordon Peters. Yay! Yeah, let's go, Gordon! Come on! Make some noise for Gordon Peters! Come on, Gordon! Thank you. Hello, it's great to see so many people here. Some people have been saying to me in the last week that, uh, well, we've done it now, the fight's over. My main message is no, the fight is definitely not over. There's a lot still to do. Tomorrow morning uh, at 10 o'clock, the judge in the judicial review case, which I took out a year ago, in tandem with Stop HTV, the judge will make his decision known at 10 o'clock tomorrow in the Royal Courts of Justice. So uh, anyone who can be there outside on the Strand tomorrow from 10 o'clock, please be there because I think a presence is much welcome and there'll be quite a lot of media people and cameras and television probably wanting to hear what the judge says, as of course you all do. But I'm saying that we will take, and I will make a statement also tomorrow morning, I can't make one tonight because the judge still hasn't made his public decision. But I will take this fight just as far as it has to, as far as it has to go. We want a legal change, so this is a matter of principle as well as practice against what Haringey Cabinet are doing and what cabinets across London, like Bolton Forest and Lambeth and Southwark, are also trying to do. This is an all-London campaign. It has a national resonance as well, because in the court, we are fighting for the rights of councils to make full decisions, not cabinets in, in semi-secret. We're fighting for the rights of equalities to be taken seriously. We're fighting against commercial development in international developers' pockets, which is what these Labour cabinets currently are. This judicial review could overturn all of these things, and it could bring democratic, real democratic consultation back to neighbourhoods deciding where they want to live, how they want to live, and if they want their houses refurbished, to be allowed to vote on that before even considering regeneration. That's what this judicial review is about. And tomorrow morning we will hear what the judge's decision is, but whatever his decision is, I'm saying now that we will fight just as long as we have to, and we will continue to fight if his decision is not what we want, if it is what we want, fantastic. If it's not, we will fight on and on and on and exhaust the legal system as far as we need to in order to bring democracy back into local government, which is what it was a little bit better when I was a chief officer back in the 80s, a long time ago now, and it has gone down and down and down and more and more secret cabals ever since. So the judicial review is important because it's challenging that way of doing things. And it's challenging the rights of people to social housing. It's doing both of these things. And we couldn't have done it without the community upsurge. I think the community upsurge also needed the judicial review. They are in tandem. They must carry on. We do fight on. Whatever the judge says, we fight on. Yay! Yay! Okay, guys, it's Gordon Peters. Hang the green party.
I'm okay. I'll see you as well. Right, next up, we have a real lovely 